7 a.m. We're going to work. <laughs> Have I slept at all tonight? No. I need some music. I need, um, let's do some master system. <laughs> Brother. Here we are. The good news is I only have to work till 10 30. The bad news is <sighs> it feels like a very long time and also I haven't slept. It's fine, it's fine. I have CrossFit tonight. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. That felt a lot quicker than yesterday's shift. And yesterday's shift was an hour shorter than today's. But it just... I don't know why, but like waking up to go to work feels a lot harder than like having been awake. I think it's because my other job is in a restaurant that only opens for dinner, so I'm going to work like at the end of the day. So that's what I'm used to. I don't know. Anyway, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it was <laughs> not great, but you know. All right, someone's parking next to me, so we're gonna continue this discussion later. Okay, hi, I'm back. I just went to the pool. Um, it was full of old ladies doing water aerobics, so I didn't stay long. It didn't really feel like my crowd. But anyway, yes, Rose, why are you working? A crappy fast food job when you have a bachelor's degree <laughs> and all these grand creative ambitions energy drink number two of the day it is still 11 20 a.m uh basically um a few reasons i've kind of my brain is so mentally ill <laughs> that i can't do anything unless i'm contractually obligated to do so. So even though I had all this like free time because my other job is not very many hours a week from 5 p.m. till like 9 or 10 o'clock and it's like a chill restaurant job so I had all day during the day to do whatever I want but I just wasn't doing anything and I was like something needs to change let's just try applying for jobs see what happens and um that's how we kind of ended up where we are because I figure why be miserable in my room by myself doing nothing when I could be miserable making money? <laughs> so I feel like I've learned a lot from this experience. I've only been working there three months, barely. Um, I've learned I do not do well in a corporate environment. The hierarchy is just like really irks me because people who are very nice, reasonable people suddenly become like tyrannical dictators in the presence of like people higher up the ladder than them in order to like impress them and get a promotion or whatever the hell happens yeah it's just really not my vibe i prefer like the other restaurant i work at is like a local like it's just run but by, by one guy it's not like a multi billion dollar multinational corporation like it's just one one place you know so that's a little more chill like i think i do better in that environment than in a very procedure based corporate like it's so it's very interesting to me actually it's if it wasn't so unpleasant it would be a very fascinating like study in human psychology <laughs> but yeah it's not really my vibe so i've given them 30 days notice and i'm gonna be leaving at the end of the month what am i gonna do at the end of the month when I have left, I've told them that I'm going to be doing a certificate for in youth work, which is an option, but it's not set in stone. Other options are just chill out. My expense, like I live at home, my expenses are not terribly high. I can make it work with the one job that I have. 
I could apply for some other stuff, I suppose. Yeah, or study. Or maybe do some music-y, YouTube-y, creative kind of stuff. The only problem with that is the, like, I overthink it a lot. I have all these ideas for YouTube videos, but I'm like, I can't make that video because then if I make that video, then that doesn't really work with that video and I don't know what direction I want my channel to go in and I feel like at this point I should just kind of embrace 2014 YouTube and just make whatever the hell I want and not worry about like the algorithm or anything because like I've been making YouTube videos for 10 years at this point which feels insane to say and back in the day the advice was don't do it for money you won't succeed if you're doing it to make money out of it which i think is no longer valid advice like you can very intentionally create a successful youtube channel about a specific subject and do it very professionally and get monetized and it's a like very valid source of income at this point but i think the advice from back in the day was like if you're just doing it as like a hobby kind of thing or for fun or for a creative reason don't think too much about optimizing for the el for the algorithm you know so i think i'm gonna do that and i'm just gonna upload whatever I want for a while because the alternative what I've been doing is just like overthinking and uploading nothing for a year which is definitely not achieving anything so we'll see let me know if there's anything specific that you'd like to see from me because I'd be down to do some stuff I don't know that's where I'm at uh yeah two jobs full-time neither of them are full-time but together they're kind of more than full-time which is a lot like on days when I have double shifts, it's just like the whole day is gone and I'm exhausted at the end of it. Like Friday, for example, I'm working 6 a.m. till 2 p.m. and then I'm working 5 till 10 <laughs> p.m. Which is just, you know, a little insane. So, yeah, one, one month we're just gonna like push through to the end of June and then see what happens. I have the rest of today free though, except for uh, tonight I have soccer training slash we're doing a CrossFit thing, which I'm a bit scared of. It looks kind of insane from what I've seen. I have zero upper body strength. I do swim, that's like I'm at the pool, but not very well. <laughs> I mostly just swim to like chill out and get some non-impact exercise and then the rest of what i do is either soccer or i recently bought a zwift like indoor wahoo kicker trainer thing it's an indoor bike for those who don't know what those words i just said are so it's all leg stuff and crossfit seems like like am i gonna have to do a push-up because i don't know if that's gonna happen to be honest with you all right i'm gonna go home and probably sleep i should feed myself first that's the other thing both of the jobs I work have weird hours, and I'm already a very insom insomnia-prone person, so it's just not- <laughs> it's not happening. Like, in the last 24 hours, so yesterday I started work at 6, I finished at 9.30, chill, morning shift, make a hundred bucks before midday, rest of the day is free, kind of chill, but I just got home and, like, slept from midday till 8 p.m. And then I've been awake since then. It's now midday the following day. So I'm probably due for some sleep or I'm not gonna... Or oh, CrossFit is not gonna go well. Yeah, okay. That's it. I'll see you soon, maybe. Let's, uh... Let's make some more videos, eh? Hope you're thriving in these apocalyptic times. See you later.